Guys, welcome back to Crab Orchard. We are here on my home lake, and if you know anything about three pound fishing, this is where it all started. So if you look back at the videos, I'm talking all the way back. You'll see that all of those videos primarily were being made on Crab Orchard. This is my home lake. I've definitely moved on to other lakes, you know, and then look in the area, but Crab Orchard will always have my heart. And uh, we're out here fishing piles we're out here fishing steak beds it they've got it all and the great thing for people that have never been to crab orchard is that they actually publicize their waypoints they do a christmas drop every year i believe every year there's a waypoints that are added to the list and there's a list a long list and you can just enter those straight into your hummingbirds that type of thing but i can tell you right now we've already been here for about three hours and we have slaughtered put some big fish in the boat so we're going to continue that. We are going to continue with what we ha has been working, which has been the electric chicken, the 132nd ounce pink jig head, the, the Savage. And don't forget, guys, we do have these new reels that are now available. I, they're so new they haven't even been put on the, on the rod yet. So they'll be there, the new 1000 series. Check them out on the website. But let's do this. Crab Orchard, we're here. I love Crab Orchard, guys. Now, for those that are new to steak beds, guys, that is a steak bed right there. And usually at the bottom, you can kind of see some decent marks. There's definitely one there a little, sitting a little high that they, that's where the crappie just hang in. And I'll tell you what, as the sun even goes up, they get more full, more full. I mean, it's a pretty, pretty cool thing. This is very similar to uh, Kentucky Lake. So if you've been to Kentucky Lake, you're looking for steak beds here at Crab Orchard too. Now there is some natural structure as well. But I gotta tell you, there's one right there, smaller guy. Look at him. Um, these steak beds today have been out of this world. And again, like I said before, fishing with this uh, pink head electric chicken jig, and it is on fire. There we go. Now we're talking. Beautiful crab orchard. Good fish right here. Solid fish here on crab orchard. Now we've been catching, let them go. We've been catching bigger than that. So we're gonna get on them, I'm sure of it. We're just hitting steak beds and we are definitely vertical fishing. Now vertical fishing for me is with the Savage 13. For you guys that don't know, the Savage 13 has those two midsections that come with it that allows it to turn into a 15 or a 16 footer. It is legit. Right here. Check it out. And again, you're essentially getting three rods in one. And coming this fall, there will be a five foot section um, with the side accessible eyelets on it, which has been patented. Um, so that rod is going to have so much potential going forward in terms of growth, in terms of just having one rod that's going to accommodate three different sizes, which is going to be awesome. Well, total of four. So anyway, let's catch some. Oh my gosh. Open another small guy. Hammer him. Now, Crab Orchard was known for these small guys, but I can tell you that that is not really the truth now, even though we've caught two of them. There you go. There used to be in a abundance of those and you would couldn't get away from them but now clearly you have you can see if you look back at the last episode that we were putting some good fish in the boat and we'll do the same thing here shortly hmm a little bit better size still not what we're looking for though pretty pretty white fish though right there oh baby oh that's a good fish that's a good fish. That's a good fish. <laughs> oh, baby. Ooh, shee Yeah, let's put it on the spot. That's with that J hook, man. That new nasty hook that we got on the website, guys. That thing's awesome. All shark truce. No, to, no doubt. This is why you come to Crab Orchard, guys. Beautiful white fish. Absolute studs. Um, it just doesn't get any better. Bam, that's a great, I mean, right there, that's that's gotta go, gotta be the cover photo. Beautiful white crappie here. Um, using that nasty hook, check it out on the website. Um, 
you will not be disappointed. That thing is so sticky, it's unbelievable. So check it out, guys. More fish going in the boat. Let's do it. There we go. Gosh dang. We on fire on the windy side. Combination of black and white crappie here on the lake, guys. Nice solid eater right there. And uh I gotta admit though, I like the white crappie bite. Ain't no joke. Now overall, this lake is gonna be primarily a green stainy color, but we actually have some brown water going on right here. I don't know if you can appreciate that with the sun or not, but um, right now we've got kind of a mixture of a clear on the dam side, and then it gets a little muddy over here on the other side. But for the most part, green stainy color, water color is kind of the go-to. Now I use braid straight to the jig when I'm here. I don't jack around with leaders. I don't think you need to. I do think minnows is, is definitely gonna, is gonna help your cause out, but they've been hammering the the, the plastics and the, uh, the hair jigs, you just gotta be a little bit more patient, right? So, but either way, great lake, uh, shallow lake, be careful when you're traveling around it, but there's no, typically there's not too much structure, but make sure you're aware of where the islands are at. Um, I don't believe that they would be shallow enough to harm you, but at the same time, you need to know where they're at and you can see that on your maps. They clearly are marked and there's buoys out here. So there you go. doing is pitching out at them probably staying roughly around 12 15 feet away from them but getting pretty cozy with them we're not uh they aren't too spooky there we go good fish here guys wow <laughs> i love it i flipping love it <laughs> Bam, how about that? How about that? That's just a great fish. Guys, check out Crab Orchard. That's gonna end it. Don't forget the new reels are available on the website. The all black matte one is hot. Um, and if you wanna match up your Savage or Hammer, go with the red and the matte black matte. So anyway, great fish to end on. Appreciate you guys. Great episode on Crab Orchard. Love this place. Take it easy. Guys.